You're live. Oh, oh hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. You just went live. I just went live. Okay. So Cindy's gonna get the comments going for us. I have Lulu here. I haven't seen oh. Lulu in a week. I have my little Lulu back. I was showing yarn. Nobody wants to see yarn when they can see your pretty face. I know it. I clean up pretty good after all the mud. Oh, we're never going to get rid of all the mud. My boots. Okay. I had to wear different boots today here. Okay, did it uh, come up on your phone saying we're live? Not yet. Do we have live action? Oh, stop. It says we're live. Okay. Oh, hi, Peggy! Peggy found us. Peggy found us. Alright, you are all set. Oh, good deal. How many people are alive? No. Can't see it on your phone. Okay, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna do like a, hey Valera! What is that, dog? Okay, talk to the people. Okay. Hi, Penny. So, most of you are aware, we did Maryland Sheep and Wool over the weekend. And let me tell you, it was a show. So, I'm basically going to do... It's a show? The, the show was really interesting. So, I'm basically going to do story dying today. And, and all my it was a show. So fun we did uh, over the weekend... And let me tell you, it rained, it rained, it rained. We were out in a tent that was like going downhill from the parking lot. So everything came down here. And so we had fun all weekend. Cindy, if you can believe it or not, Cindy what? had muck boots on all weekend. Those hey, big old farmer no, boots. No, not all weekend. I set up in my Doc Martens. <laughs> yeah, and ruined them. And sprung a leak. <laughs> Hi, Jan. And what is it? Five days later, and they're still sunny. Yeah, yeah. So basically, today's dying is going to be Ode to Maryland mud. <laughs> so I'm going to story I tell. I've seen so much mud of of what mud. we did. You want to switch over to the yarn or do a, do a split so I can hand gesture as we do this one? Because this one is is a storytelling one, so I have to like be able to see too and you have to see my hands and everything like this yeah okay that's the best I can do on a split okay that's good enough for what we're doing so I'll just stand oh I'll stand over here so some of the time I'll stand over here so basically we get there on Friday hi Sandy oh yes <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it fun there <laughs> I'm storytelling about this now, Sandy. Okay, it was it was an adventure. So we get there on Friday to set up, and we go down to where Ron from uh, Buffalo Wool Company has always had the booth down there. So we've taken over the booth and uh, having fun with Ron and all that. And so the last time they had a live show there um, in 2019, I did the show with Ron, and uh, it rained a little bit on Sunday. And it got a little muddy there, but I didn't think it would ever get any worse than that. So until we went this year without Ron. And so <laughs> See, Ron is the magic talisman, evidently. That I guess so. From being I dead. guess we need Ron at the shows. But <laughs> so so we get there and we get down to where the booth is, uh, with the tent, and we see the, the roof of the tent, but there's no sides yet. And it had been raining all night and all day, and so it was just complete water down there. Well, not all day, because we got there at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and it was still raining, and it rained all day while we were unloading. So, so basically, when we get there, under the tent, where, where the floor is, or, or the grass or whatever, the grass looked like this before we started getting on it. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Nice green grass. Yeah, so we had nice green grass when we got there. 
Let me add a little bit more. So the grass was nice and green. <laughs> and here's the deal. I this is the first time I've ever used this for dyeing <laughs> at all. But I it's had to use so this. So appropriate. Let's so, see if it works. So have you tried it at all? Yeah, sort of. So the thing is, and I don't think it really matters. We want <laughs> as much of it. So we get there, and it rains, 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 and it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. Yeah. So it did that. It that did that all weekend. And so you know what happens with that? What happens is you mentioned then, rain and then and grass and lots of people. <laughs> and then then so you get lots of people, you get lots of walking on this in the booth, then you get this and 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 there were spots. And you get mud. And there were spots that, I swear to God, in our booth, sank over a foot. Because it was like an aqua, aquifer or whatever you want to call it. We were and watching, as we're trying to set up, we're watching as it's pouring outside the tent. There's water bubbling up through the ground in yeah. the middle of the tent. And so then we started putting tarps down. And then when people started walking on the tarps, they just start sinking into the tarp. But they, but then through the the openings in the tarps and things like that, we even got more mud. This is a different <laughs> color mud. Yeah. So it's more mud. You can't have enough mud. I'm telling you. This is no joke. We can, we can, we're we can laugh about it now. To the point where we can laugh about it. At the time, on Friday, when we were trying to set up in it, and you couldn't walk across the floor without sinking, it was not such a good feeling. And then there was uh, some uh, some um, farm um, people that had farms, so they were like out in the tents too by us, and they brought straw. And they feel sorry for us, so they gave us some straw to put on all this stuff. So I have to put the straw in this. So then we get the yellow straw on top of all this. I'm really loving the color of this yarn, but I don't know if I can work with it because of the PTSD involved. <laughs> But it'll be a memory. So then we got the straw in there. But the best thing of the whole thing was... Oh, we would love that, Valera. Was uh, the best thing of the whole thing was on Sunday it didn't rain. But it was, it was still a little cool, but the mud didn't dry up. And so we had to put more straw on there and more straw. So I'm putting more straw on this. And so basically, when we tore down on Sunday night, we had like seven tarps we had down in our booth, and Cindy and I picked them up. Yes, Cindy got muddy hands. And so oh, we picked Cindy them up and we drug them to the road and just let them take them and throw them away. I don't even think I would even have tried to uh, try to clean those tarps out. And so... I think the the least... The stupidest thing I took with me was makeup. Yeah, I don't know why she took makeup. So this Didn't is even attempt it. this is ode to our weekend in Maryland. What do you guys <laughs> think? Cindy's gonna take a picture of it. I actually really like. I think it looks pretty cool. I I hope you guys like it. I just threw this together because pretty well the rain and everything threw our floor together like this. <laughs> You're exercising some mental demons with creating this one. Yeah. I like it though. I like the colors are cool. 
And you've got some different stuff in here. What do you got? Oh, I got cool stuff this week. You know, and with the mud and all that, <laughs> yes. Get socks out of it. So, so, I so I, I, have to. I did some cool stuff with this because, you know, we got to be happy with this kind of stuff. And why not? So I have some super wash uh, fingering weight. I have fingering weight twinkle. I have DK twinkle. I have some uh, worsted weight. And I have sock valera. And so so we had to go happy with the twinkles with this. Well, the other thing was, as bad, and Sandy's right, there were a lot of people there. And we were so grateful because even as lousy as the weather was on Saturday, it was nice to see so many people. All the rain coming down, there were so, so many people. And they were grateful to be there. We were too. It's the first show we've done in two and a half years. So everybody was just happy to be there even though it was miserable conditions and then on sunday it was dry it was a little chilly and it was cloudy and it was windy but it was dry and it was awesome and huge shout out to irene and edith they irene <laughs> they mona <laughs> They came and were our booth babes. They were both there Saturday, and Irene was there Saturday and yes. Sunday. Irene and Edith, we they couldn't have done it without you guys. They were awesome, 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 and they took care of us, and they jumped in and, and helped people, and we couldn't ask for more. Okay, so this... This uh, we were talking a few weeks ago on on the show here about coming out to seeing people and doing some stuff. So this kind of reinforced that we need a yarn truck, and so I'm creating that yarn truck. I'm seriously doing it. It's not just a a, a thing anymore. So if any of you guys um, have like small businesses that you're part of or know of that family or something like that that we can do a local yarn shores shows uh uh stores uh guilds any of those kind of things that you can get us in contact with i'm going to go on the road with the yarn truck and bring it to you guys and i just think doing that instead of taking stuff in and out all the time well, and little yeah. little festivals. And like, little festivals that you know. Like little one day festivals. Yeah. Because I can just drive in, open up doors, put steps down, and we're ready to go. And that's what I'm creating. So I can do all kinds of stuff, and it and doesn't have, have to that. just be a, a festival. Um, if you guys got a yarn guild, um, Peggy talked about the Elks. You know, different things like that. We can come. Uh, shout out to all your friends, and we'll come and go. We're um, putting together a page on the website where people can come in and request. Um, are we coming back next year, Sandy wants to know. Sandy, yes, because I'm going to have my yarn van, and I'm going to put the yarn van right there, and the steps will go right down onto the parking lot or the road or whatever. So, so People won't have to walk through the mud no. to get to us. So, so yeah. yes. Yep, yeah, we'll be back. We had fun. So I got this beautiful big black fan that is going to become the Stunning String Yarn Van. And we come to you guys. we got to come up with a cooler name then. Yeah, and you guys got to help us with a name. And then we've got to give it letter. But yeah. hopefully by June 1st... Um, We're going to wrap it. Oh, I didn't know they had one in November for Maryland Alpaca and Fiber. Oh, okay. That'd be kind of fun. I don't, I don't have any bases in alpaca. Jamie thinks it's pretty. Thanks, Jamie. Oh, I do too. I think it's interesting. So this will be available this Friday, and this, it was cool. Um. 
this Friday we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. We have some stuff that we did exclusive for Maryland that didn't sell out. Some of it did, but we have a few things that did not. And you guys might love it. That you guys might be interested in. And we have some new things that we debuted at Maryland that we haven't had a chance to show you. So over the next few weeks, we're going to have a lot of new stuff. What is wrong with you, Dodo? Well, and that's the thing, too. For the show, we did pretty decent. Um, and we loved seeing everybody. And uh, we couldn't have done it without having everybody coming through. There was a lot of people there. Oh, it was just so nice to be able to interact with people again. You know, and people would come up with um, color combinations that were unique that I hadn't thought of. And that's the part I love, is seeing what people come up with. And then we got to see some people we hadn't seen. I know, there was ever. a lot of people. And there was people that... That's been on our uh, like comment on our shows and things like that that we had never seen in person. Sandy came through with with her husband, right? And then we had um, other vendors we hadn't seen, and we got to meet uh, Irene and Edith, Edith in person. And they're a hoot, both of them. So there are kind of people we just. Crap all um, I'm the serious one. Oh yeah, the brains of the operation. Irene will vouch for that. Um, and then, you know, other vendors we hadn't seen in forever, and we got to see them and catch up a little bit and. We were there probably half an hour after we loaded up because we ran into some other vendors that... Yeah, we, we hadn't had seen Roy and uh, Henry from uh, Clums um, in a long time, so we had to say hi to them. Yeah. The Yarn Over Truck in SoCal is closing. Well, then we'll have to come out there. Wow, I hadn't heard that. I'm going to make it totally self-sufficient so I don't even have to plug in on any electric or anything. Oh, dog! Off me! Off. Why are you... You just need so much attention now. I'm thinking, Peggy, by late summer, I will have the truck ready and we can do something like in August or so. I'll come like through Texas. Or, we have a big following no, in no. Texas. We have a big following. I'm not going to... Uh, commit to anything until we get the truck finished, but well, we're we have a big following in Texas. Be in Texas. Yeah. Um, oh, for those of you in Texas, we just got accepted to DFW. Got our confirmation on that. So we will be there um, in Irving September. I think it's the 22nd through the 24th. So that'll be fun to be back. So we might integrate some stuff into that. Yeah. Let's see if we couldn't do some. Oh, good. Oh, good. We'll see you again, Sandy. I love DFW. I like the. We have so many friends down there, so it's good. Of it. Because you can watch everything happen. Like the. Um, they don't do sheep to shawl. What do they do? Do they spin? Spin spin to shawl. And so, oh, I didn't know that, Mom. Our sister lives in there. Oh, neat. Um, so yeah, I think you said that, Mona. Um, but it's right in the center, so you can see it happening all day long and keep an eye on what they're doing and stuff. And they had that at Maryland, but it was in a building, and we were too busy to ever go in there. So I didn't get to see it. And now I'm sad because I'm seeing the pictures of the stuff people did online. It was really cool. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think it'd be fun to go out to 
uh, take the van out to knitting guilds and your local yarn stores if they want us to come and that kind of thing too. And we might bring Lulu. Yeah, so put the I word out to anybody or oh, any, Lulu? you know. You're be the yarn I think we'd be good match with all kinds of uh, different businesses that could cross help bring in customers for them too, you know. Oh, I'm, thanks, Sandy. I looked that you, up. You know, I think nurseries would be kind of good uh, with all the flowers and all that. Uh, people that garden probably love to knit, too, some people. Well, maybe just some farmer market. Yeah, things. farmer markets kind of things. Um, if you guys know of any local distilleries that we oh, be in Lord. a parking lot, you know. <laughs> oh. oh. I'd have something to do after I get done. With the truck. Oh, You're goofy. Okay, I'm liking this colorway. It's making me happy. Me too. And I heard some people's tents partially collapsed, collapsed on a few people overnight uh, in areas of the thing, but I think everybody got back up and running pretty good. I don't, didn't hear of anybody totally having problems. Well, and we were talking on our way home yesterday that we realized that even with all of that, oh, uh -oh. hey, no slapping, that nobody fell in our booth. I was kind of shocked. So that I am extremely grateful for because I would have felt horrible. Good. We'll do a guild. Absolutely. Jack Daniels in Lynchburg says it a lot. Ooh. If you know some contacts. But isn't it dry? Yeah, but people still come to tour. So DM us or shoot us emails or whatever, and we'll start getting a plan and a route together. Yeah, I'm going to get the sheet together on our website. Because I want to try to get it together because I think we need to have T-shirts with all of our tour locations. And so people can buy T-shirts. we got to make this into something, you know. My grandma lives in a dry town in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a bayou colorway. Cindy Babcock says she thought of you last week when I was at the Tobermory Di Scotland Distillery. Oh. oh! Wow, I thought that was a, an amazing place to be. Some of those, the age of some of those places. I know, some of the age of some of the, the scotch. <laughs> no, I mean the distillery. I know. The buildings and stuff are so old compared to the U.S. I hope you had a good trip, Cindy. That sounds phenomenal. Oh, wow.
I like that you're doing Twinkle. Hey, you know what? Stunning strings on tour. We need t-shirts. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to add any more blue. I think there's enough rain. Now I'm on to Sunday. I think the rain represents, or the blue represents the wind and the rain. So Peggy, we'll have to talk about the whole guild thing because I think there's some things we can do besides just have the iron truck it there to make it like a cool event. I could create like a colorway for you guys there in person live. I'll bring some of my special stuff. Special stuff? What do you mean? Some dyes and oh. yarn to dye. I don't know. That's an awful lot of stuff to have to take. Not really. Just one pot. I wouldn't do a, a whole bunch. Well, you got to heat it. No, I would bring a hot to, and then a pot for steaming. That's it. One yeah, pot for steaming. And then I bring a, 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 a one of those... Uh, Things are making hot water in a little kettle. The distillery was established in 1793. Oh my goodness. Yes, and we left our dog at the dog trainer. She has a a kennel service, yeah. a boarding service, so we missed our little baby, too. I bet she missed us, too, because I'm sitting here, and she just keeps jumping on my lap. If, if I stop petting her, and it's not like she didn't have attention. The woman runs a daycare. Uh, big well, dog yeah, and, and here's the deal, too. The so, so we brought the food for her. And we said she gets one can at night with dry food, and she just gets dry food in the morning. Well, she thought we said one can in the morning and one can at night. And so Lulu didn't tell her any difference, so Lulu just ate two cans of food a day. Lulu, you should have said something. So now, tomorrow morning, she's going to bug you until you... No way. I think I'm going to stop after this one. I like it. I hope you guys like my our adventure for the weekend. I had to put it on yarn. There's a, sometimes you have to put a story behind your yarn. <laughs> And this was it. But yeah, just shoot us uh, information and uh, we'll get it together. Because we could do the one, we can coordinate and do the same time of Peggy's Guild down in Southern California. And your guild, we could do stuff like that. That would be fun. That would be. muddy mellow ones that could almost be good for a sweater because it's not so um, variegated. Okay, I did it. 
Look at that. That is so cool. That's like something a lot different than I've normally done. Well, like I've never... Look at that, guys. Like it's gorgeous. It. That'll be interesting How can you see. not think mud is gorgeous? And I used this tool for the very first time. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like on... Uh... Right. We'll have to figure out, Valera, what would be good for toes and heels for this. Yeah. And I do have Sprinkle this time, guys. And twinkle. both finger, Twinkle. I have Twinkle in both uh, fingering and decay weight. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today, guys. This was fun. Come back and see us on Friday and see how this yep. turned out. Bye, guys. Bye. Oops, I'm